When we met here over nine years ago, we were in many ways two very different people. The fact that we have changed so much and yet get closer each day makes me sure you're the person I'm supposed to spend my life with. Carl, your character and thoughtfulness is astounding and admired by all. You remind me to speak my mind, to invest in things I care about, to say kind words, to think about things in new and uncomfortable ways, to be goofy and to not care about what anyone else thinks of that, and to love myself more. In the simplest form, you remind me every day to be a better person. Ever since I was little, and Janie can attest to this, Carl has always been right. Um, I remember when I was maybe eight years old, I heard him telling our dad about how he sometimes listened to spoken word before bed. There we go. Well, I may not be as assured of his innate correctness as I was when I was a kid. I see Carl and Laurel up here today, and I feel very confident saying that he made the correct choice. Oh my god, <laughs> you look incredible. <laughs> I love it. You look so good. <laughs> yeah, I do know really well. I'm gonna get the full knockdowns. Yeah, oh my god, you look so good. You look so good. In the summer of 2011, a group of camp counselors arrived at Camp Denor to get ready for a new group of campers. Carl was returning for his second year as a counselor, and it was Laurel's first. Their first job was to greet new campers as they drove in. This meant sitting for hours on a dirt road, getting sunburnt and eaten by bugs. Unfortunate conditions for two shy camp counselors spending their first day alone together. But these two had what Laurel called, like, the best conversation ever. I cherish your humor. I'm comforted by your support and kindness. I admire your intelligence and drive, and I'm stunned by your beauty. I promise to make you laugh. I promise to cry with you. I promise to always get you water when you need it. <laughs> Not only was it great to see um, your partnership together and how, how great of a partner Carl is to Laurel, but how great of a partner Carl is to Shibuti. <laughs> which I think is the, the biggest testament to your relationship. So for those of you who don't know Shibuti, that's Laurel's nickname from high school, um, kind of her alter ego, and she's the one that asks for water a lot. <laughs> uh, again, I'm very tired. <laughs> Multiple boxes. <Yeah>. Oh! <laughs> They're emerald earrings. And so Carl and I, that's the state jewel of North Carolina. I feel like we grew a lot there. Dear Laro, the day is finally here. I'm so thrilled and grateful to marry you today. One of the last big leaps we took was on our move to North Carolina. We grew and gained so much that with that leap, which makes me so excited for our newest and by far our biggest leap. I gave you an emerald necklace on the last leap, so I thought I would continue that theme. I love you so much. Carl and Laurel, a lifetime partnership isn't easy, but as you set off to create your marriage, you already know how to work together, make decisions together, and compromise. You are best friends and treat each other with gentleness and respect. Enjoy that in the good and easy times and practice it in the hard times and you will have a rewarding marriage. I like the idea that today we are creasing a corner in a page of our book to mark this day. And I'm excited for the new chapter and whatever it brings. Yay to finally being your wife. I love you. Sharing thoughts and ideas with Carl has always been one of the best parts of my life. Um, and he's shaped me into the man that I am today. <laughs> Seeing his love for Laurel teaches me about the man that I hope to be. and. I feel so lucky to learn from his example as he enters this next chapter as well. Carl and Laurel, 
you have publicly sworn your commitment to each other for all time. I invite every person gathered in this space to witness that you are now husband and wife. You may seal your commitment with a kiss. I remember the times of when you'd come back to visit home, seeing how comfortable you were and how you looked at each other and thinking, that's what I want. I'm honored to be here in this role and to get to see you two wed. I'm sure I'll be looking up to you, Carl, and to you too as a couple for many years to come. So here's to the lovely couple. Congratulations. Thank you.